What is going on gaming nerds? Mystic Dimer here and this is a tutorial on how to power level your ground bait on Russian Fishing 4. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we are out on Ladoga Lake. I am patiently waiting for my Beluga Nargas to be repaired. This is probably one of the best places to get your Beluga Nargas repaired. As you can see, I have got 16 minutes and I thought, eh, why not just do you, do, a, do you guys a favor and do a little bit of a tutorial on how to level or power level your ground bait. Now, as you can see, I have maxed out my ground bait period and i'm super excited about this so how long did this actually take me to do well it took me three days one hour of crafting every single day okay now to be fair as a disclosure i did use premium now you don't have to use these techniques that i'm going to show you today uh to power level your ground bait but i highly suggest getting premium premium is actually very 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 cheap ladies and gentlemen very cheap for uh three days of premium i believe it is uh premium over here three days of premium it's 350 for seven days it's seven dollars or six dollars okay so you can go ahead and do this and what it actually will give you is it'll give you one hour as soon as you log in your one hour of happy hour starts every single day okay now that's actually fantastic because the one hour of happy hour you can actually use to uh, level your harvesting baits or level your making ground baits or whatever for that one hour and then for the rest of the day every fish that you catch you get double experience so if you catch a fish that's you know gives you twenty five thousand experience you're not getting twenty five thousand experience you're getting fifty thousand experience so your premium doesn't really stop after your one hour happy hour as you go fishing you can actually get more experience while fishing and you can utilize that one hour of happy hour um, to get a higher chance at getting a skill up when you craft your ground bait or when you do your harvesting baits now what i did was i did six days thinking it might take six days or seven days whatever uh, I was able to max out my ground bait in three days, spending that one hour of happy hour every day doing ground bait. Then the rest of the three days I used on making uh, harvesting baits, okay? Leveling this, I am now up to 95% on this and I'm super excited about that because now I can start harvesting like uh, larvae, crickets, mole crickets and everything, all of that good stuff. So. When it comes to premium, you don't have to use, when it comes to making ground bait, I should say, you don't have to use premium. It's gonna take you a little bit more money. It's gonna take you a little bit more time, but you can do it without actually doing premium, okay? That being said, I did use premium and it took me three hours total of playing and crafting during happy hour to max out my ground bait. Now, why did I do this? Well, to be honest with you, there's a few things that I wanted out of ground bait. I wanted crab and mussels and squid. I wanted the more fishy stuff. Salmon smell, crayfish, zebra mussels, these type of fishy crustaceans and stuff like that, they are really, really good for a really big fish like sturgeon, uh, blackhead carp, um, and just a whole bunch of fish that really like these type of like crustaceans and stuff. So I wanted to get up to that. I also wanted to get up to making a PVA stick. However, I was very disappointed with this because making a PVA stick is great, but only if you can use them. My bottom fishing is... Uh, is only at 70% and, and actually being able to use a PVA stick is 100 freaking percent. So I'm a little pissed off about that, to be honest with you, but I was able to max it out and I can use all, I can utilize all of the, the, the ground baits. Okay. So let's talk first about when you go into your skills, this very first skill right here, which is each upgrade increases the quality of ground bait. This is going to help you power level your ground bait if you decide to use these techniques okay now a lot of people will probably look at that and go man mystic that's 
that's five points that I could use somewhere else. Yeah, but kind of think about it this way. One, when you have this maxed out, you're going to be making quality nine and quality 10 ground baits. That is a much higher attracting uh, fish attractant than a, a level, a quality level one or quality level two. On top of that, if you're making quality level one, two, three, four, five, you should literally be throwing those away because they're kind of crap and keeping only the ones that are six or above. So why would you not want to make a level nine or level 10 quality ground bait every time you craft? You're gonna save money by not throwing away the ground bait. You're gonna get a bunch of ground bait you can actually use and you're going to attract more fish with higher quality ground bait. More fish equals, equals more fish catching. More fish, fish catching equals more silver. And who doesn't want that? So in my opinion, for me personally, these will always be put into my ground bait because every time that I use, I craft ground bait, I want to have a quality nine or a quality 10. So I don't have to waste materials throwing it away and I can have a very high quality fish attracting ground bait. So this is important. However, there's one little tidbit of information I want to share with you guys. This is kind of up for a little bit of controversy. I haven't found a, a thread on the RF4 forums yet when it comes down to making ground bait, but there is, I guess you could say right now, it's just a theory until the devs confirm it. But a lot of people are saying that if you make a quality one ground bait, you have a much lower chance of that quality one ground bait giving you a skill up when you craft ground bait. But if you make a quality nine or a quality 10 ground bait, then you have a higher chance of that single craft to give you a skill up. So why would you not want, even want to take that chance? Just, you know, go for it. You, you know, if you're a brand new player, you've still probably got this reset button right here, which will reset all your points. Just throw them in there. For me personally, I will always have these maxed out because I always want to make sure that I have high ground bait. So that's when it, so that's what we're going to cover when it comes down to skills on that. I personally started with premium, did three days, three hours. I went from level 50, which is the fifth level components, all the way up to 100% in three days and three hours. So this can actually be very quick if you decide to use premium. If not, it'll take you more time. It'll take you a little bit more silver. Uh, so now that we've covered those things, let's talk about kind of your strategy on what you're gonna do. Every day you're gonna log into the game and if you're on premium, as soon as you log in, the first hour you start playing, you are on a happy hour where you get a higher chance of getting a skill bonus when you craft baits or when you craft lures or when you craft ground bait. So what you're gonna do is take that to your advantage you're going to farm up a bunch of silver and you're going to purchase your materials and then you're going to purchase premium. Log out of the game as soon as you purchase premium and log back in because that will actually start your first hour of happy hour. Okay, and then start going into your ground bait and making your ground bait. Then what you're gonna do is after that hour's over, use the rest of the day to fish, enjoy yourself, Make as much silver as you can, but before you log out that same day, buy your materials for your next couple levels again. The next day you log in, you've already got your materials, log in, immediately start crafting again because your happy hour is going to start immediately again, and you're only gonna have to craft an hour a day. If you don't use premium, you can do this whenever you wanna do this, it's up to you. Okay, so that's kind of the strategy you're gonna do. You're gonna do that every single day. Craft for an hour, Spend the rest of the day getting silver. Before you log out, use that silver to buy your next um, materials for your next levels. And then the next day, log in and immediately start crafting. Okay, so that's the strategy. Now, what are we going to actually craft? How are we going to craft? Let's talk about this. Let's say that you're at 50% right now. Every time that you open up one of these levels, you open up almost every one of these levels except for this level level 11 level 8 is bollies level 11 is just attractants i believe there's one more attractants only level 9 is just attractants so there might be a couple others but for the most part every time you you open up one of these levels let's say i'm on the fifth level components and i've just opened up six i'm going to open up mixtures i'm going to open up additives and i'm going to open up attractants 
okay? So let's say you're on 50%, you've got this one open. We are going to completely forget about our additives and we are going to completely forget about our attractants and we're going to concentrate mainly on our mixtures. Okay, so for level five, it's gonna be corn flour. Level six, hemp seeds. Level seven, and I think at level eight, you open up wheat bran and rye, two of them. If you open up two like this, just figure out which one is more expensive and or least expensive, I should say, and then use that, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna concentrate on the mixtures. Now, when you actually go into craft, you're gonna press N, you're gonna go to ground baits, and then you're just gonna open up this regular ground bait where you can make whatever you want. So ours is corn flour. I don't know if I have any corn flour. I do have corn flour. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna put corn flour in and you're not gonna put any other additives and you're not gonna put any attractants in it. To be honest with you, when you put these in there, you have a higher chance of getting a skill up. However, you're also burning through a lot of silver because you're pretty much gonna be throwing this away because you're gonna be making like level one quality ground bait more than likely, unless you've decided to go into your ground bait skills and max this out. Then you'll be making level nines and level tens when it comes to quality, okay? So when we go in, and we go into ground baits, craft this, we're gonna grab our corn flour and we're just going to spam this one material inside this ground bait. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna keep my mouse on make and as soon as it comes up, instead of hitting space bar to keep it, I'm gonna hit backspace and I'm just gonna throw it away. I know it's it kind of makes you gag a little bit when you're throwing this away, but keep in mind, this is not going to be a good attractant because it only has one material on it and it's your mixtures. So you're just gonna keep doing that. You're gonna make another one, and then you're just gonna hit backspace as soon as it comes up and you're just gonna to toss it. And that's all you're gonna do. So here's the strategy on the best way that I found for me that worked the best when it came down to making ground bait. So let's say that you just opened up your fifth level components, which is corn flour. So what I do before I, I log out is I buy, I would buy 200 corn flour. Now, if you're at 50% or like 52%, you won't need 200 corn flour. You could probably do it with 100 corn flour if you're at like 52% in your ground bait skill, okay? Buy 100 of those if you're at 52%, buy 200 if you're just at 50%. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the next one that isn't open. So if I've only got level five open, I'm gonna to go to level six. And if it's not open, I'm gonna buy 200 hemp seeds. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna to go to the next one, which is sunflower seeds, and I'm gonna buy 200 of those. Then I'm gonna to go to level eight. These are all bollies, so I don't need to worry about this. But level eight here is wheat bran and rye bran. I believe wheat bran is cheaper, so I'm gonna buy another 200 of those. So you're literally going to buy 200 of the, of the level that you're at 200 to the next, 200 to the next, 200 to the next. Until your silver runs out or until you think that's enough. I was very pleasantly surprised. I bought 200 of these and 200 of these, and I thought, well, maybe I'll get to 10% extra. So I might get to 60% from 50%. And I bought 200, 200, and 200, and I ended up getting all the way to 75% from 50% the very first day. So I went 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. I went all the way freaking up here, or maybe it's down here. I wish they would leave what level they open up on these. It really irritates me that that disappears because I can help you guys better if I could actually see it. But I went 75% the first day. Okay, so I, I had 50%, I, had I went an extra 25, I got to 75%. The day after, I did the exact same thing. I went to 85% and then I went to 100. I just finished it off on the third day. So that's really all you're gonna do. You're gonna log in, you're immediately gonna start crafting, you're immediately going to here, ground bait, pull up your ground bait, pull up your most recent one for us, corn flour. The next one is hemp seeds, you're gonna craft these until you immediately open up the next one. As soon as you open up the next level, stop using these and just keep them, save them for later. You're gonna immediately open up the, the next one, immediately start using the next one, which is hemp seed for me at the time, and I'm gonna start crafting these. So you'll have some left over. There's a possibility you'll have maybe 25 to 50 left over of your previous mixture, but 
you immediately want to start using your new components that open up because that'll give you the highest chance of getting a skill up. Once you're done with your hour of crafting, go fish, go have a good time, sell all your fish, get a bunch of money, uh, and go into your skills and figure out, okay, which ones are going to be the next, next level, you know, and buy 200 of those, then buy 200 of the mixtures of the next level, and then 200 mixtures of the next level, and just keep doing that until you're done. It's actually very easy with ground bait because you can go all the way up to, I believe, 95. I believe 90 or 95 is the highest one where it just starts being flaxseed or rapeseed. And then you have to use one of those two to finish it off because as you can see, there's no mixtures that open up here. There's no mixtures that open up here and there's no mixtures that open up here. So it's really simple to do because every almost every single level you're going to be open up mixtures and those mixtures will help you give you give help give you the highest amount of possible skill ups you can for that level until you get to the next level. So it's much easier to do for ground bait than it is for bait harvesting because with bait harvesting it sucks because once you get into bait harvesting, once you get down to uh, honey dough, it's all about just doing these bait fish or you have to jump all the way back up to egg dough and you have to use egg dough to try and finish this off. But with ground bait harvesting, it's completely different because you can pretty much, it opens all the way up to level 10. And that's at like 85, 90%, something like that. And then you can finish these last three off and it's super, super easy. So that's how you power level your ground bait. If you like the video and you learned something, thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Keep gaming, keep doing it, man. I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye. Is my Beluga Nargas done yet? You jerks, ah, 10 more, come on.